All right, good morning to you wherever you're watching from all over the world. You're welcome to Let's Talk Crypto, where we talk about everything crypto and show you how to make money either as a crypto investor or a trader. It's Tony here, and today is actually all right, an exciting day for all of us uh, traders in the crypto space. Uh, basically, in just a few minutes from now, we are actually going to be talking about P2Es, uh, P2Es uh, actually mean play to earn crypto, all right? So P2Es, our uh, topic is actually focused on play to earn crypto games to make you, all right, money in 2022. You let me know where you're watching from, either on Facebook. Uh, we actually streaming today's program to Franklin Peters, actually one of our guest uh, Facebook platform. And on my YouTube channel, leave your location where you're watching from. Uh, let me know how the market is treating you today. Um, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and you see that tiny little button, a uh, bell button down there. All right. Smash that button. OK, so that you can get any notification whenever we go live on this program or whenever I bring you content like this, basically. So today I've actually got two phenomenal gentlemen who are uh, joining me right now to talk about uh, P2 is uh, play to end. Basically, are we actually currently as we see all right across uh, the market? Uh, seeing the future of gaming, especially online gaming, um, they're actually going to be giving us these answers and even more uh, in terms of what are the top play to end games that can make you profit or that can that can give you some form of value. All right. Uh, this year, we are going to be going over some stuff. So I'm going to be showing you some stuff. All right. Um, in the market. And um, so let's just jump straight into it. Thank you, Franklin Peters and chike for joining us on the show guys how are you doing for some reason yeah i'm good um, okay uh franklin is finding it difficult to hear me franklin what about now can you hear me chike you can hear me loud and clear right oh yeah i can hear you i can hear franklin okay i think he's no more there again uh, yeah he's gonna he's gonna join you let him just sort of that okay so since we have you here let's just go straight in you know um, and, and get on with the conversation. We, we are talking basically um, play to earn, right? Uh, a new concept that, that went serious as, as we ushered ourselves into 2020, uh, 2022. So I've got a lot of people, um, all right, who are wondering what play to earn are, right? Or play to earns are. They don't know what this is, the concept of game fire and all that. Sometimes these things can just be up in the air uh, without, you know, and understanding basically so if you can just help us GK, uh to explain what p2es are basically okay i see franklin is back can you hear us now uh, okay Chiki, let's just have you go straight into it okay yeah uh good morning everybody uh whatever you're listening from so uh, I'll just go straight. My name is Chike, and um, I am the business developer and co-founder of Gimmick Guild. So um, Play to E, it's, uh, I would say people have called it a, a new term in this space. But uh, basically what it's actually about is uh, playing games to earn money. And at the end of the day, it's, uh, as you should know, is the marriage between gaming and finance. So, um, like you said, uh, it started picking a lot of, uh, uh, um, uh, what's it called, interest of people mm -hmm. uh, early uh, or late 2020. And in 2021, we saw the likes of Axie Infinity do what he was able to do in, uh, in the Philippines. So, for me, uh, I'm very passionate about what he can do in Africa. And I just say that um, it's a concept that seems to be new. But well, I see it as one of the aspects of the blockchain and crypto space that will usher in people into the crypto space faster than uh, we other protocols like DeFi or normal traditional crypto, the ICO days and all of that. But GameFi is actually going to usher in more people faster into the crypto space. Why? Because anything that has to do with fun, a lot of people already love playing games traditionally mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they do it 
Some of them spend their, their data playing, playing these games. Some of them spend time just to have fun. So one of the major things people do with playing games, not many people are making money playing games. Some people are doing it, but very few of them. So GameFi is actually coming to change that narrative where it doesn't need to only be the guys who are so good or the pros who are influencers of games or who can win competitions and make money. But this time yeah. around, you can be at the comfort of your home, play game and, and, play and, game and, 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 and make money. money. Fantastic. So yeah, just, just before we, we continue, where we look at the relationship between um, gaming, online gaming, basically, or playing online games and, and making profit out of it. Let us go to the basic here. Because I'm seeing on one side, we have play to earn. On the other side, we have game five. Are, are they actually the same thing? Like when people mention play to earn games and they talk about game five, are they referring to the same thing? Because, you know, cryptocurrency can be a little bit confusing with, with different terminologies. So just help us, first of all, understand, is it that play to earns are called game five? Or game five and play to earn actually mean the same thing. Then we'll now look at what the relationship is between playing online games and cryptocurrency. Okay, so um, in order to break it down for people so that they understand better, so game five is game finance, and that is the terminology that crowns the entire um, gaming space for uh, 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 the crypto games. So then P2E is kind of like they're just trying to let you know that. You are playing to earn money in the game five space. So that's what. So I, I would say it's somewhat related together because you cannot mention game five without mentioning P two E at the end of the day. So there are some games that have free to play and also play to earn. So in the sense that there's a free version where and and those ones they help you play for free, learn how to play the games and all of that, get used to the games so that before you now start. Uh, the play to play to earn uh, phase of the game because you'll be purchasing NFTs, you're purchasing characters and stuff like that. So it's always good you start with the free to play versions. Then after that, get good so that you don't now start you buy NFTs and you don't make money at the end of the day because you are not good in that game. So that's that's basically what it is. Okay, fantastic. Uh, it appears uh, Franklin is back and um, he's actually here with us. Franklin, you can hear us loud and clear, right? Very, very clear. So Chike has actually yeah. helped us. Yeah. yeah, so Chike has actually helped us um, understand um, the concept of play to earn, basically. Okay. And he just finished, you know, um, um, talking about how they are actually related when you hear play to earn and you hear game fi and the fact that game fi is actually um, it represents game finance. But I want to hear your own perspective maybe from a fundamental or technical perspective, right? Um, what do you feel to you is play to earn or the concept of game five? You know, before we now look at uh, some of the play to earn crypto games that can make, you know, people money this year. All right, awesome. Uh, game five is an offshoot of DeFi, um, decentralized finance, um, where we try to connect, um, you know, uh, finance wholly into the blockchain, into cryptocurrency ecosystem, um, for people to enjoy the full benefit of you know financial inclusion, which includes loaning, staking, investment, and stuff that has to do with finance. Um, uh, and then GameFi is where we start talking about you know uh, monetizing games through cryptocurrencies, games. right? And and so that's what GameFi is. But then afterwards, uh, we started hearing the, the, the uh, whole concept of uh, play to end, right? Where it now brings to life the incentivization of, of, of you know, gaming, right? In the cryptocurrency space. So um, game five, I would say, was not the practical aspect of the whole thing. Game five was a concept, right? That was that was able to usher in play to earn so play to earn is the implementation of game five okay fantastic so um we we were actually coming to the point where we established the relationship between um gaming online gaming which is um play to earn all right and and cryptocurrency basically because i've actually this is my phone right i've actually got games on this phone that i play on a normal day okay uh -huh that I play on a normal day and, you know, I don't get to 
receive any form of rewards or any incentives. Um, um, Chiki, if, if you're still with us, let, let me start with you on this. So help us establish the relationship here, right, uh, between online games, basically, and the fact that by playing these games, I can end cryptocurrencies. Because from here, we can now move into, you know, some of um, the games that are currently available to people that they can play and earn rewards in crypto. Okay, so if I if I get you correctly, so um, in terms of cryptocurrencies and then playing game and ending this coin, yeah, yeah, the relationship between so, um, the two of them. So um, many of these games that are that are being created, um, they have tokens, and some of them they have about two or three different tokens in the game, and um, some of these tokens have their different uh, uses. Some of them are used to maybe purchase in-game assets. Some of them uh, are the tokens they earn while they play the game. Then the other one, if the game has maybe an ecosystem or a, a DAO ecosystem, that's what the uh, their gamers uh, have. They use in maybe being a, a part of the governance of whatever. So they are also uh, uh, maybe you can earn uh, what's it called um, collectibles, maybe like characters. Maybe if it's a if it's a game that is uh, that has to do with guns and all of that. You end those kind of uh, guns and am ammunition in the game and all of that. So, and all of these things can be ca uh, called NFTs, which maybe mm -hmm. if they have a marketplace, you can go and sell in their marketplace, or you can also uh, maybe uh, hold it and trade it maybe on another third party marketplace if they have minted those things or they allow you to do it there. So, <clears throat> basically, some of the games. And um, one thing that uh, we at Gaming could like to look at is most of these games, when they come around and say, give our games to your people, we look at the, to uh, the tokenomics of uh, the game because some of them have very good tokenomic structure, while some of them are not so uh, uh, nice in the sense that uh, you realize that you're just playing the game, but you're not really, the, the, the mode of earning is not very, uh, very nice and interesting. So, and when games build, I always say it's good to focus on its economics because that will, a lot of people are coming to game fight to make money, not mm -hmm. just to have fun. So if but anybody wants to have fun, it's 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so they just, uh, it's always, the, the, the tokenomics is very important because that is what defines how people can end in what phase of the game and all of that. So. Okay, now, 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 Franklin, I believe you yourself, you're actually aware of some of some of the the play to end games that are currently um, in, in in the market right now. If you can just give us one, for example, as as our discussion, you know, advances and and how the the structure works. So if I pick up, let's say, I have this game on my on my phone, and and I play the game, what is the reward structure? Can can you take us through this this process? Okay. You're actually on mute. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Go ahead. So there are a couple of them, uh, but the most prominent of all is um, Axie Infinity. You might have heard about it. It's, it's the one that really, you know, blew up the whole play to end and game fire markets uh, last year. Uh, a lot of people in, in Africa um, benefited from it. I'm talking about Ghana, I'm talking about Nigeria, Philippines, and several other places, right? Um, they benefited mm -hmm. from it. Um, so Axie Infinity um, has a structure where they have two tokens, okay? And several and uh, games usually have this structure. And I feel it's very healthy instead of having one token because um, you are incentivizing people for, for taking action. You are not taking money from them have the initial right you are not taking money from them and you know if you look at economics you'd see that um, there has to be um for for the value of a certain uh, uh um uh, stuff to to be high or to to be maintained there has to be exchange of cash value right so if they keep giving a certain token to people for free those people would need to liquidate it in some way right so in order to create liquidity, that would be enough for them to be able to cash out these tokens. There has to be another token that people get to buy, right? While they mm -hmm. create a different 
form of structure for the one they give out to people for free. So they have two tokens, the Axie Infinity token and the uh, um, uh, Sweet Love portion, SLP. The name is quite funny. Um, Sweet Love. Yeah, so, so you play, you do stuff, and then you earn SLP. And, um, you know, the SLP token, uh, you earn it within the game, right? And of course, the, the token also has utilities within the game itself, okay? Has okay. utility within the game. You can use it to renew your life. I've, I've personally not played the game, to be honest, right? But, you know, I've read so much about it. So you can- Yeah, play, great, you know? great. We have, we, have, we have guys on the show who have actually interacted with, with this type of games themselves. Um, yeah. Just as you mentioned, Axe Infinity, let me just bring up this, if you can see. Um, it says here that the, the play-to-earn blockchain game, Axe Infinity, um, from last year to, to this year, so, surpassed 4 billion, all right, in all-time NFT sales. Now, in the interesting part here, which um, I just want to show just here, and it says that the project developed, this project is actually, Axe Infinity was developed by Sky Movies, captured more than $4 billion worth of all-time NFT sales, right? And as we speak, okay, this was at the time of this publication, and you can see, just quickly here, right? You can see OpenSea, you can see the looks red, you can see Axe Infinity and the volume. This was, I think, uh, the period of last year stroke this year as we're, as we're entering into 2022, uh, where it did uh, in terms of volume $4.14 billion. And right now, uh, this data is actually from um, static.news.bitcoin if you want to find out more. Uh, but then we have the dapradar.com. This data is actually from them. And as we're looking at it right now, Luxray is actually topping this chart, uh, followed by OpenSea, um, followed by CryptoPunks as Infinity and, and so on and so forth. So you, you can see you can see the volume here. And, and this brings me to the question, um, Chike, where I would talk about how valuable this market is. And um, look at the, the figures with the figures that I've, I've just showed you here. It, it shows that it is actually a very, very profitable business. And, and for those who are at the receiving end or the playing end of the, the entire system itself, that they make a whole lot of money from this. Is that the case? Yes, yeah, sorry. I think uh, I kind of lost you there. What's the question again? Yes. C can you hear me now? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I can hear you. I was breaking up. Oh, oh, sorry. That must be <laughs> that must be our network. So I was actually asking in in terms of how lucrative this is, especially for the people at the other end, the creators in this case. If you can hear me, um, how profitable it is for those who are now playing. All right, this game because just let me just let me just bring this up quickly. Let me just bring this up quickly. Now, it says here that uh, many are ready to quit their other jobs to play NFT games instead, as they could potentially be earning the same, if not more, from playing games. So the, the question I actually asked earlier, uh, frankly, you would also answer is, is, is this business that profitable for gamers, for people who are playing these games, basically? You know, to the extent that they would even quit their job. <laughs> yeah okay so um i think uh first things first uh, i would say uh it's very important that when you get on these games you learn how to play these games because the learning phase is, is the most important one and once you have gotten so good to the point where you can play and earn so much um i, I know there's a guy who is playing one of the games and it's called kradaba and he says that currently now he earns over 300 dollars to four hundred dollars in a day, and I'm like, how long did you get to this? Uh, get used to this game to get to this point? And he told me that uh, he was doing this, and for a two three months, he was getting used to the game. Even when the game was still on testing phase, he was trying to understand the game and all of that. So you just know that once you put your mind that you must learn this game, you can earn a good living out of the game. And I've seen people who have tried to play the same Kradaba and they can't play it. So it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. It's just for you, is it, it, the interest to learn and understand how to play the games properly, and also can you afford to buy the NFT characters that are on that game? But trust me, we'll see a lot of people who will be making income from playing games uh, on this play, play to e space. And um, I was I was listening, I was reading an article from one of my partners, 
our partners at Gaming yesterday, and uh, they captured where a research was done, and they said in by 2024, the, the industry will be worth over 800 billion. And I looked at it in as much as it may be like has a nice an assumption, but it still sounds <laughs> very true. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, frankly, just just to continue from where where uh, Chike stopped there, can you just mention some of some of these games you would recommend to to people to begin to pay attention to and you know and play, even the ones you're playing yourself? You've you've given us one already. <laughs> just like I said before, yeah. Um, I'm not big in, I think Chike will be in a better position to recommend. He, he's he's co-founding a very powerful, you know, gaming We are, we are coming to that. We, he's smiling yeah. already. We're coming to that. You, you, can send, you can send in, our viewers, you can send in your comments using the comment section of whatever channel you're watching from, either on Facebook or YouTube. If you have any questions for your favorites, any of them, Chike, Franklin, even for me, don't worry, I'll direct it to them. I'm not here to answer. Basically, I'm, I'm just here to, to get these conversations, all right, to people. In, in order to help them make money, all right? This 22, we are quite early. This is March. Um, we still have a lot of months to go. And these are ways you can make money for yourself, all right, this year. So, um, Franklin, you would you would prefer we ask uh, Chike that question, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you're going to be a bit of Yeah, so Chike, you're the co-founder and, and business development lead at GameMeek, all right? I, I know um, you are this person. So can you just mention some of these games? That that you, you you can have people participating and make a whole lot of money. You've mentioned some while you were explaining, but are there more that are profitable than others? Okay, so um, I will not uh, use the word profitable than, than others. I would just say mm -hmm. all the different games have their different uh, any models and their different patterns and how they are played. So I would I'll start with the, with, with the ones that I know we are our, our gamers are gaming are currently playing. So um, we started with asking them. Sorry. Titan Arena. So Titan Arena is a game uh, uh, that is built on uh, a Binance Smart Chain. And Titan Arena is an awesome game. Um, the Binance community just, uh, the BNB chain community organized uh, a tournament uh, two weeks ago where uh, Gaming also participated on some guilds here in Africa. We uh, all came together and we brought our players and we participated. So Titan Arena is a good game. We're playing that. Uh, there's a new one we're about to introduce. It's called Killbox. So okay. anybody who's listening in and uh, you want to be a part of that, join the Gimmick uh, Discord channel. You see, uh, we're already gearing our gamers to jump on that game. Killbox has the vibe of um, uh, what's it called? Uh, COD, Call of Duty. So, but the game still needs to have uh, a more touch up. They are releasing a new version uh, before the end of by the end of this month, next month. So uh, it, it's going to have a, a better upgrade, better U UX, and all of that. But well, we uh, our, our gamers are jumping on it currently. So there's there's still other games like uh, League of, League of Guardians. Uh, there's another one coming up. Um, uh, what's it called? There there are two I am playing. I'm playing Kradaba. I am playing uh, what's it called? Uh, Qbox and Titan Arena. Those two we're playing now. But me personally, I'm playing Kradaba. I'm playing uh, Crazy Defense Heroes. Um, I've heard of a, a couple of my guys who play. Uh, called finance, it's called C U L D, uh, C U D L. Sorry, finance that one is built on uh, Arbitrum Ethereum layer 2. So, there are quite a number of these games out there. It's just for you to figure out which one you want to jump on. I have a list of many of them I haven't even tried out. So, and um, they are they are quite uh, I don't have tried out myself personally. Some of them are, are, are nice, some of them are not so interesting. I don't really like some. So, but these ones I mentioned, these are the ones that I am actively playing on my own end. Then there's another one called Archiver. Archiver also, it's, um, we're also releasing that to our gaming community too. We just entered a partnership with them. And uh, I think Archiver is from developers of Titan Arena also. So these are games that uh, uh, we are, I personally, I know I'm playing on my own end. <laughs> yeah, thank you for sharing that with us. So I, I believe we've got, yeah, go ahead, Francis. So uh, the people in the game, uh, game fire and please and industry are having too, too much fun. Maybe I should leave. <laughs> I think I should leave the fire. Come to so, the industry, man. <laughs> so, so, so we should leave. Should we leave it for them and maintain and maintain our lane, or you think we should we should leave that? Leave what I, we're doing. I, I, think, I think I think we need to switch. They're having too much fun. They should come to the fire. <laughs> Let's. <do that. laughs> Okay, so frankly, with, with cryptocurrencies, right, uh, comes the whole idea of education. 
right? Um, the, the whole idea or concept of going to learn about the market, going to learn about cryptocurrency, right? Before getting yourself involved in it. Um, you, you are actually someone that has been very vocal with this. Uh, but, but with play to earn, the concept of GameFi and, and, and all that we've been discussing about, would you, is it something that requires that much, that much energy into learning or education or going about, you know, reinforming yourself about it before engaging in it? Or is it just a game? Just pick up your phone and, and play the game and make money. Yeah, as much as it's just a game, yeah. it's, it's, it's not just yeah. any game. It's a game in an industry that requires a lot of education. If you don't know what cryptocurrency is, you don't know what NFT is, you don't know what blockchain is, you don't know how to protect your wallet, to know how to keep your money safe against theft, then what are you doing? You understand? You'll be lost in the first place. It's, it's game or it's not just any game. It's game in a whole uh, industry, a whole ecosystem. You need to know how to jump on the next trend, right? In some games, you know, somehow you need to get an um, NFT to be able to upgrade your power. Just like what Chike uh, said, um, there is this guy he mentioned that is currently making about three hundred dollars every month, every day. Is that correct? Every day, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. that's wow. that's that's some crazy sum. Looking at the minimum wage of Africans, that's much more than minimum wage for a month. That's what someone is making just playing games in a day. There's something I can bet you there are lots of other people that are not making as 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 much right they may not even be making anything playing the same game so there is something he knows those people don't know so oh. education education is what will open you up to those words okay check it did, did you agree to, to what he just said because i see I, you're not being you're actually agreeing by I, your head. <laughs> I, I i completely i completely agree with him and um oh. that's why um in our guild there's something we do when you come into the guild we take you to a phase for three weeks we call that interviewing stage. So that's the phase where you are playing, you are learning. Then, if you are the, if you are in the, in the uh, if you fall into the list uh, um, of people who don't know anything about crypto, we also our uh, community uh, leads also take you through that path of what is crypto, how your wallet works, and all of that. So that when you start earning, you can know how to navigate. The ones who don't have uh, what's it called wallets, we help them. Uh, generate that when we, our like our platform is ready they will also have their uh, wallets where we also track their earnings and they, they'll mm -hmm. see their earnings on their gaming dashboard and all of that so it's very important education is very key in this space and that is why we make sure that first three weeks when they join the, the community we take them to their phase as we give them the games we tell them play as much as you can play in a day don't spend too much time but make sure when you're playing you're just playing because you want to have fun you're playing because you want to understand how that game works very well. So that when you're giving the live NFT characters, you know now it's not serious business. The first time we introduced the NFTs to our gamers, we saw a different energy from them. When they were playing and just playing within themselves and getting used to the games, it was different. But when the guys who became really good, the top gamers, when we gave them characters, we saw a different energy because they realized that when what we're telling them when they were still learning and trying to get used to it, it was Just different. Me. So what we tell them, learn through that phase so that when you, that's why we also like to look for games that are free to play so that you can mm -hmm. use the free to play to learn and get used to everything before we give you the NFT characters to start playing. Okay, fantastic. So um, we actually have uh, Clinton Uachiku. Thank you, Clinton, for tuning in. Uh, he's watching from Facebook. Um, thank you. And, and Clinton is actually asking a question. I think this is directed to you, GK. He says, um, was the link to the guild or discord you mentioned? I think in your explanation, you talked about a particular um, game that has a discord community. So it's easy to question. How can, yeah. he, how can he find it? You're, you're mute, GK. So sorry. All right. So the discord, I, the discord I talked about is a uh, discord. So I'll, I'll share our link tree where every, uh, what's it called, link to every community we have, especially our Discord community, is on this link I just dropped now. So maybe you can share it to them. And when they join, the uh, the gaming coordinators, the admins of the Discord, they are there. And all you see the sections where all the games are talked about there, the games we are currently playing. So you can join them, ask questions, tell them you are new. And they will let you. Uh, they will put you through all the steps that you have to follow to be a part of what we're doing there. 
Okay, thank you so much. Um, guys, if you actually um, love or value contents like this, um, just do us that favor, hitting that like button, click on the share button, share with as many friends as you can. Uh, we are actually discussing stuff that would put a lot of money into people's hands this year. We're talking about playing games and any money while playing games. That, that is where we are right now. Um, um, and, and also, just try as much as you can to hit that subscribe button on YouTube if you haven't subscribed. Okay, uh, thank you. A big shout out to Victor Matthew. He says, awesomeness. I'm sure you're enjoying yourself. And uh, Clinton says, thanks, guys. Can't um, find Mr. Chicken on Facebook. Also, Mr. Tony and Mr. Franklin, what platforms are you most active? Okay, so Franklin, let's, let's start with you. <laughs> he wants to know what platform you're most active on. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm active on all the, all the platforms like uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and um, LinkedIn, right? But um, I think you should follow me on LinkedIn mostly or maybe Twitter, I don't know. At, uh, should I mention my my handles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, on LinkedIn is Franklin Peters. On Twitter, it's uh, b underscore underscore oracle. On um, Facebook, I mean, you are currently viewing this stuff off of my Facebook account, so I wonder why you said you can't find me on Facebook. <laughs> okay, and um, on Instagram, I'm blockchain underscore oracle. Okay, so uh, Chike, let, let's hear you so that uh, our Mr. Clinton can be able to find you across social media. Okay, so uh, on LinkedIn, you can find me as Chike Okonko. When you see it, I'm, I have a cartoon, uh, uh, what's it called, avatar of myself on LinkedIn. And uh, on uh, Twitter, you'll find me there as uh, Okonko Chike, my full name. That's my name on uh, Twitter. Then uh, on Facebook, Chike Okonko, you see my picture, you see me there. So on IG, <laughs> you, you will see his picture. Don't worry, you will not see something else. It's his picture, you too. <laughs> you, what, what you see my picture, you will know. You will see. <laughs> so the link, the link, guys, that the link, guys, is up there. You can you can see it. So you just uh, put it there. That uh, https colon forward slash link tr dot ee forward slash gimmick guild. Okay, that's the platform. You can actually go there. Um, Chike, while you were explaining, you were consistent with the use of the word guild right so just for sort of more clarity what is a gaming guild or what is a guild basically when it comes to um game five okay so um guilds have always existed in uh in the gaming industry uh just that people didn't call, used to call them guilds or maybe i'll say it wasn't really something that was very robust so what guilds are about was they bring together people to come together form a community so like people who play it's Call of Duty, people who play uh, FIFA and all of that, they put themselves together and they compete against other uh, communities. So they call themselves communities. So, but coming to uh, uh, the game, the game fight space, uh, especially when um, Axie Infinity became a thing, that was when YGG actually, the founder of YGG, um, uh, uh, the guild, uh, he, he's also from the Philippines. So he started playing okay. Axie Infinity and he realized a community of people started playing uh, Axe Infinity also. And some of them couldn't really afford, uh, what's it called, um, the NFT characters to start playing uh, Axe Infinity. And what did they do? They put these guys, a bunch of them, into a platform and called it a guild. So what the, the yeah. guild basically does is they come in as an intermediary between the games and the players. So those who can't afford, uh, what's it called, to buy the NFT characters, they get these characters, they loan it to the gamers. These gamers play the games and they share, pro they take some, some part of the profit, but the gamers take the huge chunk of the profit while a little comes to the guild. And um, they also help them, nurture them to learn how to play the games, educate them about happenings, they set competitions, help them to be able to also see other people in the different gaming ecosystem. So it's just like they are just a community bringing gamers to play games. Games. Okay, fantastic. So we're approaching towards the end of the show, guys. And Franklin, just before I let you go, um, do you have anything you would want to throw in, into the conversation, especially to, to those who are listening or watching right now, um, especially when it comes to, you know, the idea of playing to earn crypto games and, you know, helping themselves to, to making money this year, 2022? All right. So technologically and um, otherwise, um, you know, financially as well, there are lots of opportunities um, within the space, and these opportunities are here. 
for you, for me, it's not for some special set of people. It is for you, it's for me, it's for every other person. Um, and play to earn is just one of those pieces of the cake that you can take advantage of. Um, if you can play, go ahead and play, right? You spend so much time pressing your laptop or you know, chatting on WhatsApp, checking Instagram and doing all those stuff. You can convert that time into, I mean, having fun and playing game and learning how the whole stuff works and making money out of it. If you are technical, like I said, technologically uh, speaking, um, you can start joining like communities of, of game developers and start developing for them. You may not be uh, uh, more like a coder, right? You can actually start drawing characters. I believe Gimmick will be happy to look at what you have and probably connect you to animators that are If you're an animator, there is a good opportunity for you. I mean, there is a lot here in the space. You can learn all these things we are talking about and start teaching your people. After to help, you can refer people to different guilds. I believe there are lots of opportunities like that within the space. So um, this is just one of the piece of the cake, like I said, where you can take advantage of and um, grow your earnings, right? Um, one last thing I would like to say is that it's not going to happen like magic, right? Don't think that once you get into the gaming industry, you start making money immediately. You'll burn out. You'll get tired. You'll stop. You, you'll give up if you are not in for the long term so take your time research start doing it i mean participate in it and over time it will start making sense to you you will start finding a niche where you'll be able to play and earn thank you okay thank you so much uh franklin um just before i come to you chicken franklin you are one that has been doing um quite a lot of you know big big stuff in, in, in the crypto space so um, just for the sake and benefit of people who are watching and so that they can be able to, to participate and benefit from what it is you, you're doing. Uh, we're going to be having, if if you, you give me that grace, <laughs> another another uh, conversation here live across um, these channels where we, you know, discuss specifically um, what, what these uh, products are, what the solutions are and how people can actually benefit. And that is why you need to follow Franklin across social media platforms as well as myself. Um, it's just Tony Obiaju, wherever, whatever platform you're on, just search Tony Obiaju and, and, and it comes up. Um, like, subscribe if you're on YouTube, follow if you're on LinkedIn, whatever it is, you're going to get constant updates. And don't forget that the idea of Let's Talk Crypto basically is to discuss or bring you conversations about everything cryptocurrency and also show you how to make money either as a crypto trader or an investor. You would find diverse opportunities watching this program and trust me, it will benefit you and that is why you need to stay glued all right to the programs we are bringing and thank you so much uh, franklin um you're a very busy person <laughs> let me let me say a very goodbye to you and chike um if, if you're still with us just to get you sort of your final uh thoughts on on the conversation and and what it is that we are discussing today is chike still with us uh okay Final words, uh, um, like Frank has said, very important. Do your research. It's, it's not you just get it, you start making money because it's here. Is a... making the good money. Please um, join communities, be a part of what's happening, and join gaming community also. That's that's. Something. Yeah, uh, yeah, and for that, uh, Chike, we, we are actually going to be having a very, very, very detailed conversation um, where you, you take us uh, through the, the gaming ecosystem entirely and how to get people to participate, you know, uh, in terms of what, what, what you're offering. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Franklin. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Chike, for taking our time to, to have this conversation with me. I value your time so much. And I really, really appreciate um, um, Clinton. We couldn't agree uh, more with you. He says that I appreciate you guys for this. Many Nigerians don't know the massive opportunities, not just Nigerians, basically um, Africa, the, 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 the entire world. And that is why um, Clinton, you need to share this video, share it with as many friends as you can, right? So that they can benefit uh, from this. Um, Boroko work rate is fire. <laughs> Nemeka Franklin. You're here to, to, because you're bearing his name, hey, it's fine. I understand. Don't worry. I'll go look for somebody who bears my name. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, Franklin, Franklin is an amazing individual. Um, yeah. His work rate is, is just out of this world. Chike can even agree to that. Um, 
Um, Miriam says, thank you, sirs, for the beautiful opportunity. Thank you, Miriam, for tuning in. Share this with your friends. All right. Um, let them also um, learn from this. Benjamin says, amazing conversation. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in. Go on YouTube. Tony Obiadjuri, smash the like and subscribe button. Smash the tiny bell button there. All right. We're going to be bringing more content like this your way. All right. Um, every week. Thank you so much, Ike. Thank you, Franklin. Um, from myself and from all of us at Let's Talk Crypto, we say bye bye. Okay. Finally, just before I go, Odum Nina says more of this, guys. Beautiful conversation. Thank you. Um, here, um, Wisdom gives us. Okay. I'm returning that to you, Wisdom. Okay, thank you so, so much. Oh, now we're having the conversation because we want to bring the show to an end. You say, I enjoyed the event. Shout out to my mentor, Franklin. Why is it that Franklin? Chiki, what's going on? Franklin has so much of this. I don't I don't understand. We need to double our hustle. He's the boss now. I've not got to this level, don't worry. I don't <laughs> we need to double our hustle. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. God bless All right, no you. problem. Thank you. Thank you. Do have a wonderful day. Okay, thank you so much, guys. You know what to do. Let's keep the conversation going across our social media platforms. Follow me, uh, at Tony Obiadju, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever it is you can be able to do that from. Um, I'm going to be bringing more conversations, more contents like this your way, and um, you're going to learn a whole lot. Trust me, you're going to make money this year. That's my goal, to get as much people, as many people as possible, all right, to make a lot of money this year, okay? Um in crypto or trading crypto either as a crypto trader or an investor okay thank you for staying with me and spending your money with me i value it so much all right until i come your way next time keep trading guys keep taking profits keep learning okay and make sure you don't get your fingers burnt. it's a bye-bye for now <laughs>